everybody. Hey, welcome to Nostalgia Auto, a special video edition of Nostalgia Picking for Cars, which is a weekly radio show based out of Clearwater, Florida, and the Tampa Bay area on the Tantalk Radio Network. We're here in Sarasota today for the Fenders and Fathers, or actually Fathers and Fenders Car Show, Father's Day Car Show here in downtown Sarasota. And I am looking at some amazing cars over here. We've got vintage Austin Gilly Buckeyes, Mercedes Benz, Rolls Royces. Mustang. We have a Torino over there. We have a yeah, yeah. 1969 model. We have vintage MGAs down there. We have a vintage MGA race car, an MGTD. We also have over here, we have the nostalgic 1979 Trans Am, abandoned edition car. We also have a 68 Le Mans. We have a 55 Chevrolet, a 63 Corvette. We have a number of cars. And if you turn around right behind us, we got a really neat that the show that I really like is the 1962 Galaxy factory 406 tri-power car. Ben C factory four-speed formal roof. Now this back in the day was the car to have. You know, all the Chevrolet guys like these cars. All the Ford guys love these cars. And the Mopar guys really didn't like these cars because these are the cars that pretty much dominated NASCAR and the drag strips back in the day. This car has got the unique tri-power setup. On a 406 FE style motor. It's got the short log type exhaust manifolds. This is a great car. So, uh, this is only one example of some of the really cool cars that are here. Over here, we got a 1960 Jaguar 150. That's a beautiful car. Next to that, we've got a 67, 68 Barracuda. If you look on down the street, there's a 68 Mustang, 69 Mustang, 68 Cutlass. On the other side, we've got GTs, Fords, we have all kinds of cars here. So this is a pretty amazing event. This is an annual event held here in downtown Sarasota, and it's sponsored by Vintage Motorsport, which is a classic car dealer, my good friend Martin Gobby here in Sarasota. So if you get a chance, don't forget to check out our website, GulfstreamMotorsports.com. Don't forget to visit our video page, which is Nostalgic Auto and Nostalgic Radio and Cars. In the meantime, guys, I think it's getting ready to rain, so everybody's getting ready to bug out. So, having said that, We'll catch you guys at the next event. Be sure and tune in to our show every Tuesday night, Nostalgic Radio and Cars. And uh, where you can hear us live, we're going to interview some legendary and fascinating names in motorsports. And check out our videos on YouTube because we will be, be we will be visiting more and more car shows in the future. What happens is that uh, since everybody's getting ready to leave because of the rain, we were handed the keys to this beautiful 1960 Jaguar 150 Roadster our cabriolet and uh, this is an amazing car so here you get to drive a really really nice car a beautiful day few clouds nothing bad but this is an amazing experience if you ever get a chance to drive a vintage jaguar this is certainly one that you want to drive because this car is really really nice nicely restored very classic british tradition car shifts nice engine idles beautifully the car is extremely comfortable wouldn't mind having one of these myself beautiful car ladies and gentlemen here. There's still a number of cars left because it did start to rain, so some of the cars left. But we got this 1963 Chevrolet, we got an early street rod, a 1932 Ford, we got a vintage Corvette, we got a 65 Mustang, a 64 Thunderbird, 68 uh, Super B, and another 62 Chevrolet. So there's quite an array of cars here, a nice selection of cars. Everybody seems to be having a good time, and we can't look forward to doing this until next year and doing this event again. We're going to go through here, we're going to make a U-turn, we're going to come up this street and see what else we got. Oh, we got a 1967, 66, 67 Chrysler. Everybody's trying to take films. As we're taking pictures, we're being photoed as well. There's a nice 66, 67 Buick Skylark, the two Trans Amps we talked about earlier. Some pretty amazing cars here. So, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good event. Really nice turnout of cars. Everybody seems to be having a good time we're gonna make a we, we are actually making a round trip here so we get to see some, all the cars now there's a Torino I was talking about the 69 Torino a nice vintage Volkswagen the Barracuda 68 Camaro 69 Mach 1 a beautiful MGA race car gorgeous car and of course the Lake Model Challenger so that pretty much sums it up over there I also noticed that there was a uh, First Olds, 1972, so pretty good turnout, nice little event, great Father's Day for all the true car enthusiasts. So uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for today. 
and uh, be sure to tune in to some of our future videos on nostalgic radio and cars the nostalgic auto Let's see if I can do this right I'm driving down the road and I'm driving this 1959 or 1960 Jag and I'm chasing this Cobra and what everybody's trying to do is we're all leaving the car show we're trying to beat the rain so with a little luck we'll beat the rain so hopefully uh, back in time. We beat the rain, cars back, safe where it belongs at Vintage Motors in Sarasota. And I'm here with my good friend, Martin Godby, the proprietor of Vintage Motors. How you doing, Martin? Welcome, welcome back, Robert. Yeah, welcome. In one dry piece. In one dry piece. Yeah, welcome to the Nostalgic Radio <laughs> Cars. That's an amazing car. i got to tell you, I really, truly enjoy driving that car. What can you tell us about this fine jewel here? Oh, that's a great car. It's got 48,000 original miles, been in Florida for a long time. It's a 3.8 motor. And as you know, 3.8s are very desirable. It gives it an extra kick. We put a new interior in it, the original color. It's got the British Heritage form on it, and it was dark blue from new inside with, with cream, which basically is old English white. So it's true, it's form. Rock solid, great original car. I think we re-chromed the bumpers. It's just, as you found out, it's a joy to drive. I've taken it home three weekends. And it's, it's besides that one, and that one, and that one, it's my favorite to drive. It's your favorite to drive. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a joy to drive. It's well, I got to tell you, it, it did surprisingly well, and I was behind a Cobra on the way up here, and I was keeping up with it. But now you've got some other fine classics <laughs> here at uh, Vintage Motors. Tell us a little bit about we this, this uh, yeah. Auburn right here. This is kind of classic Art Deco 30s, right? Yeah, and that one is more special than most, I think, because they've done some really great things for the color lines on that. Most of the time you see these Auburns, A, without the rear spare. It makes it look an extra three feet long. Most of the time you see side mounts, which many people love, but I think if you, if you give it a chance and give it a rear spare, it's a better look. Most people will have a two-tone car, say red, and they'll paint the fenders black. Well, this car lends itself to all these great body lines coming right through here. It looks really French that way. I mean, it's just a great color combination, and they They've taken the body lines and just done wonderful painting with it. So it's really a great look. It just I think it's fabulous. It's one of the best looking Auburn convertible coupes that I've seen. So I really like that car. It looks sort of blessed. We've got a Cloud 2. It's been really well restored. You rarely see a Cloud 2 that's been restored to that level. I mean, it's just the, the, the body itself is rock solid. It's actually hard to see in this lighting. You gotta get outside. It's, it's black, but it's got a little red in it. It's a black cherry. The, the, um, the charcoal color, it's, it's got a slight amount of plum in it. You know, they took a little liberty with the colors, but it's just turned out fabulous. It's got a whole new interior. And as you know, it's $20,000 to do interior in this car when you start talking about all the Conley leather, and redoing all of the, all of the wood. The air conditioning's been updated, the headliner's done, the carpets. I mean, the car's just fabulous. You get underneath it, all the metal is wonderful. You run your fingers along the edges. I mean, I can go on and on and on. It's just fantastic. As you know, I probably had 75 clouds in my career. And this one is just like in the top 10. It's just a marvelous car. What's this over here? This is an MG. Tell us about this car. Well, this car I'd really appreciate. You gotta go to the other side and look at the motor. This, yes, it's an MG, but it looks as big as a period Bentley. I mean, it's a 36 MG SA Tour. Count the cylinders. It's a six cylinder. It's not a four cylinder MG, it's a six cylinder. They only made a handful of these cars. And they must have been made to order. I mean, it's got a beautiful touring body on it, coach built car. I mean, it's, it's not a factory car. It's, it's just, it's marvelous. I mean, it's got 75 horsepower, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it, but it really is. Charles with his body, 
couple little liberties taken with this. It's sort of been Americanized, I guess you'd say. Chrome wire wheels. But look at the beautiful aluminum brake. Four big drums all the way around. I mean, the car will stop. It's got a beautiful small fold-down windscreen. And the car's just... It's, it's just elegant. It's beautiful. And you can actually get four good-sized people in it and cruise around the hillside in the country. Gauges are killer. I mean, it's just wonderful. Now, here's a car that uh, probably everybody can identify with. Here's an iconic 1950 Cadillac convertible. Beautiful yeah. color, by the way. Very unusual to find this car in gold, correct? Yeah, it's a champagne gold. Not sure of the original name, but it's the original color of the car. But it's just, it's just great to look at. And it's a 50. They changed the body style. They gave it the extra side chrome. Low, wide. Just a great car to drive and use. Got a lot of power. Big V8 overhead valve. Power windows. Power top. You're looking at a you're looking at the 65 year old car that you can get in and turn the key and use go cross country in. Good old American engineering. Very iconic. And of course, if you have European taste, right over here you got a very very nice and rare and desirable 250 SE European edition convertible Mercedes, right? You're right. It is European edition. It's got European headlights. It's only got a little over 90,000 kilometers. Let's call it 60,000 miles. Original. Delivered new near Con and Trance. Just had a great life. Original color. Never seen that blue in the States. Put new leather inside. Discovered that was the original color. They call that cream. Looks like Magnolia. Just a fabulous car. Great solid metal. Which is unusual for a Mercedes of that year. Gorgeous car, very, 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 very traditional, and very, very European, and very, very elegant. Now, by contrast, we have something over here, the other extreme. We have a full-blown, very rare mid-60s Lola T70 Mark II with a Ford motor in it. Tell us a little bit about this car. It does have a Ford motor. You know, you think of Chevys, but it's just big and bad and fast. That Can-Am car, recently, totally, totally just restored, ready for the track, been on the track. Just, you know, it, it's a, you really, really have to be able to drive this car. We're talking about a whole lot of power. It's slightly tricky to use, extremely competitive in its day. I mean, we're talking about people like Brian, uh, Brian Redman, you know, serious, serious drivers that, that have to be really capable of using the car. That particular car was used in the movie, winning as a um, camera car. As a camera car, interesting. Pop the body off and put mounts on it because they really didn't have the art of filming those movies in that day. They had no cars to keep, keep up with the cars, no the camera cars. cars. So they had to use this car. It's got a great history. Currently owned by uh, Brian Johnson of ACG, who does use it and who can race. And uh, I see Brian Johnson's signatures on the side of the car here, too. He did. He paid for the restoration. He's had it on the track. And he's got the car here for sale, correct? He's left with us to sell. He's got something else in mind, something else that goes fast. He wants to go a little bit different direction in racing. He's had a lot of fun with it, ready for the next car. But it's been freshly serviced, and it's ready to go. Nice car. Now over here I see something that's one of my favorites. This is again is the other extreme, but you've got a 1957 BMW Isetta 300 over here. Tell us a little bit about this cutie. Yeah, that's had a fresh restoration. Great car, solid car, really lovely paint. I mean museum quality. But once again, get in and turn the key. You know, take your whole family or two anywhere you want to go. You know, they're fun to look at. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sit in this little guy here for a second. You may never get out. I may never get out. I may not want to. This is so much fun. <laughs> wow, there we go. We got the Isetta. A little handle shot. And we're in. And this thing does what, about 60 miles an hour? Uh, yeah, I think it's zero to 60 and never. <laughs> zero to 60 and never. It might do 45. Wow. 
Well, Mark, you've got some pretty amazing cars here. I know this is just some of the stuff you've got. I see there's some late model Aston Martins down there, some vintage Maseratis, the most stunning car in the world ever made, the most iconic car, an E-Type Jaguar, a vintage four-door, stainless steel hardtop suicide door Cadillac, 60 Mercury from Sirius. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Yeah, got a lovely Mexico. Maserati Mexico right over here, gorgeous car. Ferrari's 4.7, and a 59 hard plane, nine passenger, restored, Mercury wagon. An MGTC back there I see too, right? Yeah, lovely condition. Well, Martin, tell us a little bit about behind these doors over here. There's a museum here a little bit too, right? So yeah, tell us about the museum. They're our neighbors, Sarasota Classic Car Museum. Mm, they've been there for 52 years. Opened as a car museum in 1953. 52 years. Yeah. That's amazing. That's interesting. Same location. What kind of cars are in there? Oh, Pretty much the same kind of stuff you have here? It's always different. I mean, it's it's a time machine back from 19, 1905. Runs through the decades. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's high wheel buggies through 1908, like Model T brass era cars, to 30s cars, to 50s cars, to modern Modders. cars, to sports cars, to American muscle cars, to drag racing cars, to wow. Lamborghinis, to exotic M1s, all kinds of things, and I, lots I, of things in between. I peeked in there, I saw a Pantera and I saw a Ford GT in there too, and yeah. a Vespa. Yeah, there's Vespa, there's motorcycles, there's, I can't tell you everything in there, there's 90 some cars. It's, we got a yellow submarine. Let's not forget that. Oh yeah, from the Beatles. Thing. No, from no? Uh, from a scuba diver. From a scuba diver. <laughs> well, speaking of the Beatles, I did see John Lennon's uh, Mercedes 230 SL sitting in there. Right, and John Lennon's station wagon. John Lennon's station wagon. His last car and one of his very first cars. And, um, Brian Johnson loaned us his MG and Paul McCartney's Mini Cooper that he was famous for driving in the '60s. So we've got a music row. Okay, so you have a, a theme in there as well. rockers cars in there. Okay, yeah, good. We, we need some American rockers. Kid Rock, where are you? Kid Rock, okay, yeah. Ted Nugent. No, we don't we have it. Nuge, send one of your cars down. We're yeah, ready. Bob Seger, he's a car guy. Well, love, to have, love to have one of his. I Absolutely. Know. What does he drive, Camaro? No, he drive, he's in the big monster Ford trucks and Broncos. That's his big thing. And he we could use a Bronco. Yeah. That's we, right. We can do that. We can arrange it. Mm -hmm. So if anybody wants to come down here and visit you at Vintage Motors in Sarasota, how do they go about defining you? I did, but Just, you tell them. We're right on the corner of US 41 and University Parkway. And you have a Come website? www.vintagemotorssarasota.com. How about that? Well, Easy Mark, to find. Thank you very much. We enjoyed it. Thanks for the tour. Robert. And uh, thanks for letting me drive the Jag. Come back again. We'll do that. Yeah. Hey, be sure and check out our uh, future YouTube videos. And don't forget to check out our weekly radio show, Nostalgic Radio and Cars, on the Tantalk Radio Network. Take care, everybody.